What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Maze. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and look at this note that was left by Ted. Bob, how was a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of order elevators did you not understand? Stupid thing is expensive. Completely useless death trap, you twit. Ted. Let's do it. That was a really terrible... Oh, it popped me through the... So am I in a different part of the facility now? It's Bob McTavish. Everything in this place is so stupid. Vladdy is questioning everything about this adventure. Frankly, I'm having a great time. Oh, look at that. He pulled a wily e. Coyote over here and painted a hallway on this wall. Bob, you twit. Where's the hallway? I broke my nose running to the stupid painted wall. Wow, you fell for it, Ted? That really calls into question your intelligence. Sorry, Ted. Should have told you about that. I sold it for scrap to pay for the lobbies. Whoops. I like how there's little subtle things. Like, for example, if you look at the statue over here, he's covered <laughs> he's covered up Ted's face with the statue. Like, there's tons of little things like that that, like, they don't matter to the game at all. But if you just notice them, they're slightly funny. This game is full of physical comedy. Bob, get off your stupid bulbous ass and feed your stupid fish. It took me all of last week to fill the dozens of stupid tanks in this dumb place. Uh-oh. I think Ted became Vladdy. Oh, I don't want to ask him for anything because he gets so salty about it. Yes, why not? Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. But this time you'll do it under LED Christmas lighting. Green and red. Doesn't it get you feeling festive? Hit stupid thing until what a stupid place this is. It's the coffee trolley. Pause for applause. You know there's a joke in there about a pause, but never mind. Not gonna go in that direction. It'll make me feel guilty. There's a key card slot, okay? Bob, I'm not gonna ask you again. Clean your own fish tanks. I lost all of July because of you, jerk. That's pretty bad. I've lost days, but I've never lost a month before. Losing an entire month is just like, holy shit. Look, these gloves are by Charlie. Or no, they're by Charles for sensitive fingers. For fingers that are easily offended. For fingers that can't handle. Stop pressing Q. This game, I swear to God. Let's see. Level 8 checkpoint. Okay, so the checkpoint. Waste. Americans should be working on more important things like surviving winter or being less stupid. I can call the coffee trophy or the coffee trolley. We've got another note, a very serious letter informing the heads of the facility they will be subject to a very thorough audit by the government in the near future. Judging by the amount of no's written across the page, Ted didn't take the news very well. Yeah, it's time to run to Columbia. That's just my opinion. Bob, in the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues to yourself, I'd like to inform you we're being audited. Ted. As in, how are you going to explain where all of our money went? And why there is talking corn all over the stupid facility? Is there something in my way over here? Oh, it's Vladdy. Thank you, Vladdy. Hey, Vladdy, get out of the way. I knew I shouldn't have indulged you, you half-witted, stupid, narcissistic, buffoonish, idiot moron. You drove me to erect this statue of myself. It was made of rare earth metals. It cost millions. Hey, Ted. Well, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry. I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. We'll make all this money back in a jiffy. Dude, it cost you $2.5 billion for the statues. For God's sake, Bob. No tours, no resorts, and no casinos, you idiot. A mean stupid. Ah, it's a picture of the queen. Now I've got you. We have several more strangely evolving tubers and or underground roots over here. We have an old carpet which has been added to our folio. Effective at making any area you encounter feel more like home, though you'll never be sure if that is in fact its original color scheme, or a pattern of stains better left unknowable. The question remains on your mind for several days. Easily entertained we are. We've got a centrifuge. Can I put the biscuit in it? No. Well, what kind of game are we running here? I got a piece of tape though, so that's pretty rad. We also have a half full vial. That's probably what goes inside the centrifuge. Alright, it needs something else in the centrifuge. It's a good thing the game told me, or I would have just got frustrated and clicked it a whole bunch. 
We've got another rock, a rock that is subject to flights of fancy, unable to keep a thought in its head for more than a few moments without moving on to the next one. I know the feeling. It is currently thinking of re-enrolling in college just as soon as it determines what a college is. You have named it Jeeves. Apparently, I'm a Jeeves. Apparently, I'm a Jeeves. We've also got a bio lab key, so we probably pick up whatever else goes in the centrifuge from the lab that was back this way. However, I'm going to clear this hallway before I go any further, just because I like to collect everything before I go back and backtrack. So we've got a key fob slot. We don't have a key fob. We just have a key. It's slightly out of alignment, which is a bit strange, but maybe it's just there to annoy the people with OCD. Got a circular slot. Hey, Ted, check out the new security measure I added. I installed in a few high security places. Sales of the single are going to go through the roof. Bob, you idiot. Now everybody hates the song because they have to hear it ten times a day. Cordially, Ted. Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful and make the security room more secure, you dolt. Well done, idiot. Now we're all locked out. and Fix the lift, you moron. So it looks like that flat out doesn't have a camera for the facial security recognition. We have to go back. We have no choice. We've been railroaded in our adventures. Literally, we're walking on a railroad right now. Granted, it's for a little tiny truck that appears to be a toaster that also makes coffee, but... A fingerprint scanner, so we're going to need a severed hand for that one. We've got a couple of flying V's over here. Better a flying V than a flying P, I suppose. Hiya, Ted. Got some of the lyrics down during my shift. Think it's really going to be a hit. Bob, you wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. Alright. So it looks like there are a number of scanners. We've got a recording schedule. It's a booking schedule for the facility recording studio. Most notable is that neither of the founders seem to have occupied the studio at the same time except for a very brief two-minute interval once a week or so. According to famous rock band Logic, this should have made it ideal working conditions. Ted, great news! Did some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. <laughs> get it? Because of the horn. Stop playing around with the corn and get back into the studio. We have no time to waste, you twit. I like how Ted is now going along with the idiot plans because he has no choice. We have glitter and rhinestones that are sitting there. I'm going to have to put those in the centrifuge, aren't I? God. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you take, idiot. We have a guitar stand, a piano that's covered with fingerprints. Ah, that's for the tape. So now we've got Bob's fingerprint off the keyboard. We've got a Tom. It's a pretty good kit right there. It's a pretty good kit. Oh, the hi-hat's on a weird side. Why is the hi-hat on that side? Must have been left-handed. But then the snare's on that side. Eh, that's a little odd. It's a little odd. But you know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm not a drummer, you know. I was busy doing real musician stuff. Um, <laughs> that's the joke. I had a music teacher used to tell that joke all the time. He'd be like, what do you call the guy that hangs out with three musicians? The drummer. We got that. Drummers, I'm sorry. It's just a joke. It's just jokes, drummer. You've probably heard them all already anyways. Bob, despite your best efforts, I actually think this song is acceptable, though I despise your presence with every fiber of my being. Get down here so we can press a copy of the song. And you had better deliver on those distribution plans, you dummy. Hey, Ted. Whoops, looks like our cost overruns. Ate into our distribution budget, as in it's gone. Sorry, probably shouldn't have made that power ballad cover. That sure got expensive. Live and learn. What? Ted. I knew you stole my fingerprint, you glory-hogging buffoon. God. Alright, so we have Bob's fingerprint, which we can put in here. So now we've got the new CD single, which is all the way down this hallway. Although, if we've got the centrifuge over here, I'm going to try and put the glitter in it because I think that's probably where it glitters. I mean, it's weird how you start to think like the game thinks. Oh, good. It doesn't go in the centrifuge. Does the guitar stand go in here? What about the Tom Tom? Okay, Tom does not go in there. Mm. No, the door we needed was right here. There we go, so we're now in the activation room. I always thought we came to be thanks to a conglomeration of circumstances too large for us to comprehend. Or maybe because it's sunny outside. Yes, of course. But why aren't we over there? I don't know. 
Should we go? I mean, you could be over there. That is a good point. Why be here when you could be over there? We have a space here for what looks like either a hand grenade or another one of those Fabergé eggs that was from the previous section. Looks like we've got another... What it says? Punishments? That's not good. Bob, where in God's name is everybody? What happened to all our staff? Hey, Ted, think I left a note to you about that. Had to let them all go to cover the recording costs. Also, FYI, we have no money left. Oopsie. Ah, Fabergé egg. Why do you take so much garbage? And there is no more garbage left for anyone else. There's a coin slot on the punishment tube. All right, so let me guess. Fabergé egg goes there. Fancy hat goes on top of the Fabergé egg. Glitter and rhinestones and a fancy hat to bedazzle and ruin a giant Fabergé egg. So it's a Fabergé face now. Awesome. Looks like I can't call the coffee trophy. Or the coffee trolley. Sorry, it's a hard thing to say. So with the facial recognition security checkpoint, I don't even see the camera here. I'm not going to question it too much because... It doesn't seem important right now. The key fob slot. I'm sure we're going to use the guitar stand to put that on top of. But maybe I have to move the trolley iteratively. Yeah, I bet I have to call it to each location one by one. And then once it all gets here. I like how it's got a little... It should have had the... That would have been funnier. Maybe it's just me, but I would have thought that was pretty hilarious. All right, so we call the trolley over here. We call it a trolley. We still haven't figured out what we do with this. It's a little concerning. Not going to question it too heavily, though, for right now. Is there a button inside this one right here? Oh, no. There is not. So we will try to call it over to the studio now, maybe? Good. So I'm sure we set this up on top of this now. Yarp looks like it. So we've got the drum. We have the guitar stand and we have the bedazzled face. But there's no camera. Man, our creations really are magical, aren't they? We're such an artist. We do such a great job. So did it do anything? You'll forgive me, but I don't see anything happening. What was the point of this? <laughs> Not sentient and sentient. I like the labeling scheme. You guys did a good job. There's a stairwell right here. I suppose I can have... Look at this stupid place. How much garbage is in here? A lot. The other half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath an orange pen and a sketch that... A sketch of that strange spire near the grain silo, which is circle. Writing is also visible in orange. They will help you. It looks important. They tried to eat it, but changed your mind. You tried to eat it, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any pepper. Ah, there's the inactive key fob. So we now have, I mean, I would assume that all key fobs are inactive. They don't seem to be incredibly, well, I mean, their motility seems to have been somewhat hampered by the fact that they're key fobs. So that doesn't work right there. Maybe it's got DNA on it, so we gotta take this and we gotta put it inside the little spinny do over here. Uh, 
Alright, so now that we're done with the centrifugy, we've got Helen's key because we stole her DNA. Ew, there's a blood spatter on top of the- you see that? There's a blood spatter on top of the key fob. <laughs> there's a little things. Hooray, we're in Helen's room. We've got Ronka coffee. We have written entirely in orange pen. Most of it is faded. There are some words you can read. Some of the phrases include idiotic facility, credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lowered the corn's intelligence, do it myself with my genetic code, and ruby corn. Oh, she became the corn queen. Gotcha. The queen of corn. Was there anything else over here that looked like it was important? This is the one, the ruby queen. Hmm. So we've got the coffee thing. And that's all that we pulled out of there. I can only assume that this is used in some way by the coffee trolley, which is going to ram the door. Yep. I knew it. <laughs> that coffee trolley gets hyped, gets turned up when you give it that coffee. Alright, so we got another vent. We got a thing over here. A written by Ted, this notice outlines that the isolated subject in the containment room cannot absolutely positively under any circumstances be spoken to by staff under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. Can you just fire me first or do you have to call me an idiot for a couple of months because I'm expecting to be on the clock if I'm going to be called an idiot. You got to pay me for those months. There are labor laws. Yes, of course, let it go. Let it always go. Oh, God, I saw me in your stupid idiot. What is this stupid thing? <laughs> this place is one big joke. Well, Vlad is not laughing. The vice pay on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Pointless. Vladi has to... <clears throat> do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya <clears throat> Veselo. <clears throat> what? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing! Uh, this whole place makes no sense! Ha! I've got you now! Oh, good. Idiot planted ugly face is here again. Oh! You cretin! I will make you pay for your continued insolence! How will dumb ugly plant do that? By... Uh, by... Oh, so boy! Ow! Why are you always biting? Why are these plants always so difficult? Ow! Stupid idiot! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes. So tacky. If you, if you want, want your stupid, stupid mean pet back, back you'll have, have to come, come and get, get it. it. I've, I've taken, taken it to be punished. punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. Flawless logic. You know, they say they keep taking naps, but I keep finding them quite conscious in other areas of the facility. So, we have dinged and opened something, which I figured is this door right here, seeing as it was the only one that was sealed. We've got a contingency plan. Looks like steps to initiate contingency plan Omega until abandonment of the facility. It involves in no particular order bringing the facility to full power, raising the four field hooks and initiating the sequence via the black box along with coordinates and an arrow pointing to the sun. There are equations and notes written in orange pen that suggest there is a way to alter the trajectory towards Mars. Okay. I don't see anything else that looks interactable here. What do I have still in my inventory? Just the English muffin. Can't put the English muffin in the coin slot. I had to try, though. I had to try, though. I don't think there was anything else around here that really required investigation. I'm trying to think. I like how he hit the door so hard that it embedded in the wall like a throwing knife. <laughs> Apparently there was a coin sitting on the ground right here. A two buck that I guess was inside of the vent that I didn't notice after the event ended. 
I don't know. I know we use this for the pneumo over here, so let's go ahead and we'll slot that on in. That looks like the queen's room that we talked to her in earlier. I think she got out. So the two buck is in the coin slot. Let's see where we end up. Punishments. All right, Bob, nothing you do surprises me anymore, so I'm going to give you some constructive feedback on punishments, which is, I'm assuming, what you spent the last of our facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for this place. Second, everybody's going to be injured getting here because of the idiotic pneumatic tube. Third, there's no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone, you incompetent louse. And then cordially, Ted. Welcome to your worst nightmare! Looking for your pet? Don't wait! You have fallen right into my trap! It will cause you unbearable suffering. It's not so bad. Shut up! But you won't be suffering alone. Say hello to your partner. Well, go on, say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother. Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. I stared out a wall for six to three days! It's really not that bad here, brother. Aside from the non-stop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing! If your feeble mind could comprehend such things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb, stupid, stupid thing? Well, I can't answer that last one. But if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. Yes. Yes! You are one of them! <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures on whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah! Words hurt! Shut up! You stupid! Is it? No wonder that I suffer so surrounded by cretins and imbeciles and more stupid than all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us! Not any of you, and not that, that red-faced harpy! Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet! Now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest, and will remain here dancing for all time! Ha ha! Ha ha! I disagree. <gasps> it's our queen! She is free! She has returned! Who is that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? have we stopped dancing? It barely succeeded, your grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of... It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But, 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 your majesty... Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, Highness. Anything but that. Then release it and its companion and get out of our sight. Yes, your majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power with haste. Our tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Dancing! That was very stupid. But they've got one of those multicolored checkerboard floors. I've never even seen one of those in real life. And I've been to several dance floors. They never have that. I say we stay here and we just get down. I've been working on my two-step. I think we're good here. I'll see you on the next episode of Maze. 
where we have apparently it is in our nature. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.